So in what might come as a surprise to you guys, I'm not clairvoyant. I didn't know that you guys were going to dig this series so much. So let's keep it going. Today, we're going to read terrible reviews for Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers. <laughs> Hey, what is up everybody? It's Nick here from the Lost River Drive-In, and today I wanted to revisit a series that you guys seem to love, reacting to reviews for a specific movie. Now, sometimes I love it, sometimes it makes my brain hurt. But it generates conversation, and that is the most important thing to me. When you guys are talking, when you guys respond to this kind of stuff, I love doing it. So, I'm going to continue to do videos like this here and there. So if you like them, make sure to subscribe to my channel and leave a like on this video. Now, we're going to be talking about Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers today. And we're going to be reading terrible reviews for that film. Now, you guys know I happen to love The Curse of Michael Myers. And no, I don't love every Halloween movie. But this is actually one of my favorite ones. So I'm looking forward to, kind of, getting into some terrible reviews for this film. And we're going to start it off with a half-star review by Shuker Zinzho. I, I, I don't know how to pronounce it. You guys see it on the screen there. There you go. Half-star review says, well, how to talk about this film. If you think the slasher genre is pure madness, get ready for the biggest delirium on Earth. Halloween 6. The film that seems to have come a century before the first in every way except the script. Rating, 1 out of 10. Whew, I mean, where do you even go there? Because this person didn't, like, expand upon why they didn't like it at all. It's... Look, when you're going to review a movie, I have always felt like you have to give reasons. It is the laziest thing in the world to say something is fantastic or something sucks without expanding upon why. When you do something like that, where you're really vague and you're also trying to sound big-brained by, you know, just drawing out a very short statement, which is, I hate this movie, I don't like it, it sucks, whatever it is, it's just, you, you, no, no. Jaleesa J, J, I think? Gives it one star and says, well, it's better than Resurrections. Uh, I know what you're trying to say. And uh, you're right. Fwong In gives it one star and says, I guess actors got to start somewhere. I'd rather be anywhere than watching this movie. I think that's in reference to Paul Rudd. Um, wow. Anywhere? Like, you'd be cool right now being in the pits of hell, getting beat by Satan? Instead of watching The Curse of Michael Myers? <laughs> Ryan J gives it one star and says, No! Smiley face. Paul Rudd's worst film. <laughs> yes! 1.8 out of 10. I feel like we've seen Ryan before in this long-running series. But you know what, Ryan? I love the use of decimals again, and I love the smiley face. Anon Shitposter comes in with a one and a half star review and says, Aside from great performances by Paul Rudd and Donald Pleasance, okay, look, you're already cool with me because you gave credit to Paul Rudd in this movie. So many people dump on him for this. He played the role exactly the way it was written. This film fails to live up to its superior original with a lack of thrills and scares and offers little in terms of entertainment value. Overall, a waste of time. Um... Draven R gives it one star and says Halloween 6 is a movie that is just borderline unwatchable due to its cheesy acting, its wonky editing, and the fact that its troubled production shows more than Michael Myers is in the movie. Um, I don't know what the hell that means, the end there. Uh, I also, do, you can't, you cannot hold the production against the movie in the sense of like, if anything, it, it's like a mulligan. You know, you're like, oh, well, you know, some of this stuff isn't as great and I understand why. But like this, I don't know. You suck. <laughs> so while I was scrolling, I came across one that just made me laugh. So I'm just going to put this up. It's a five-star review from Daniel K and says, Paul Rudd was in this movie. <laughs> Justin T gives it one and a half stars and says, Some great moments of violence. The problem was that the great concept was poorly executed. The story progression is often slow and confusing. Some good ideas emerge, though. I just couldn't help but think that this film could have been so much better. Turn it on, sit back, and let it happen. It's fine. Wow. 
when I saw your star rating, Justin, I immediately did not assume that you were going to say the movie was fine. Normally fine for me is middle of the road, but your rating is saying that the movie is terrible, but it's fine. We got to, we, no. David A. gives it one star and says, more of the same from the previous movie, really, except even worse done, in my opinion. I'm really not a fan of the supernatural direction they took Halloween in these movies. I've seen supernatural horror done well before, but this ain't it. How can you have a trilogy of movies based on a supernatural cult, and yet at no point really explain what said cult is all about, is beyond me. Just really very poor overall. Well, David, to answer your question, there isn't a trilogy of movies that's all about a cult. Uh, it's really just one movie that's about a cult. See, Halloween 4 had no inkling of that. Halloween 5 introduced a tattoo, but they had no idea what it was going to be. Mustafa Akkad wanted a cliffhanger, wanted something to keep the audience interested for what came next. Halloween 6 is what made it a cult and tried to answer all those questions. So if your issue is that narratively, it's not a super cohesive trilogy because of the Thorn plot, well, it's not the plot of the entire trilogy. Uh, although it is dubbed the Thorn Trilogy, of course, but I don't really think that's fair to do to the whole trilogy. Um, yeah. Another anonymous ship poster gives it one star and says, The story in this was a joke and ruined the mystic and character of Michael. Ah, uh, yes. Who could forget the mystic Michael Myers? Ah, that sounds like a roller coaster. Guy P comes in with one star and says, The only good thing about this movie is introducing Paul Rudd to the world. Too weird and convoluted to be believable. Some of the kills are great, but that's the only decent thing about this movie. Myers' mortal enemy is tight spaces that he can't get into. <laughs> it's kind of funny based off of the end. I see what you did there. Um, Paul Rudd is a good thing in this movie. You're absolutely right. Uh, the kills are great. Uh, I would not say that's the only decent thing about the movie. The atmosphere is freaking incredible. Donald Pleasance is great in the movie. I really like Marianne Hagen in the movie. I, I could go on and on. Um, yeah, Guy. You're wrong, Guy. Who's named Guy? Another anonymous poster gives it one and a half stars and says, I don't want to have any more. Well, have I got news for you, buddy, because this is only the sixth one. Leo D gives it a half star and says, It sucked. It ruined the Halloween franchise. It's the second worst Halloween movie I've ever seen in my life. Okay, so guys, you know how I feel about the just overblown, ridiculous statement of this ruined this. I'm not even, I'm not even going to argue with you today. Landon J gives it one and a half stars and says, Same old predictable plot and tricks. Very predictable. Just a different stage set. Nothing much new and the new stuff had little effect. Halloween is a great series, don't get me wrong. But you gotta know when to fold them. Time to about now. Uh, yeah, I take issue with that review because if anything, this movie is not like a lot of the previous ones because it does really get weird and go out there. I mean, some things you could say are predictable in the sense of like, this person's gonna die. This person's probably gonna die this way, maybe. But like, the plot? No, it's not at all predictable. It definitely wasn't like a retread or anything like that. If anything, it's just weird and super out there. <laughs> Ryan A. gives it one star and says, It's hard to describe how bad and how much I dislike the film. What I can say is I hate the direction it took with Myers. I hate the story and just kind of felt like a cash grab movie, like no true horror was thrown into the movie. Just some bloody kills and a bad storyline. The only reasons I continued to watch is because of Myers and the surprise of seeing Paul Rudd in the film. I'm so happy to hear the new 2018 Halloween film is completely cutting off connections to the sequels, especially this one. Um, so there's, there's a lot to unpack there. Uh, I, you could make the argument that every sequel ever is a cash grab, unless it's like you're setting up a trilogy. It's very clear from the beginning. And even then you could say it's still for cash. I feel like that's a lazy argument. Um, shout out to, uh, you liking Paul Rudd though. That's, that is great. And shout out for the, uh, bloody kills. Again, I, I'm seeing the common theme here being the storyline. And, and I'm really finding that people can completely disregard all the good about the film. 
simply because they didn't like the plot. And because they didn't like the plot, the movie itself sucks. Even though there's a multitude of good qualities, I just, it's really weird and reductive. I, I hate that line of thinking. Another anonymous reviewer gives it one star and says, if you're looking for one of the worst attempts to cash in on a series, here it is. A movie with sound effects that sounded like they came from the Goosebumps TV series and horribly unlikable characters. This movie will keep you asking why. So if that was the point, they succeeded. Um, Goosebumps? I don't know about that. Ryan S. comes in with one star and says, One out of five. Not as bad as most people say, but not remotely good either. Paul Rudd gives a solid performance, however. I'm so confused, okay? It's not as bad as people say. I'm gonna give it one star. One star out of five would, that's 20%, okay? That's like a super F. That's like, that's like an F minus, 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 minus. But not as bad as people say, what? I mean, okay, you like Paul Rudd, cool. But like, I don't like you, Ryan. Yash B gives it one and a half stars and says, while the curse of Michael Myers isn't the first bad movie in the Halloween franchise, it is the first one that made me understand why the sequels were retconned for the newest trilogy. Okay, just want to stop really quick and say, this was never going to be included in canon for 2018, no matter how good or bad this movie was perceived to be. Because they wiped out H2O and Halloween 2, which are both pretty well-renowned movies. So that's a really weak argument for the new trilogy retconning, whatever. Anyway... This movie actively messes with lore in a way that is frustrating and, frankly, strange direction. There are some thrilling moments that I've come to expect from this slasher franchise, but this movie's story is absolutely all over the place. It is also strange tonally, and it just didn't feel like there was a clear vision for where the story was heading at this point. Overall, this is easily one of the weakest in the series, but it ultimately leaves a bad taste because of the swings it takes with the story and characters that are ludicrous and take away more than they add to the franchise. You tell me what some of these characters take away from the franchise. Tell me. What do they take away from the franchise? How would any character ever take away from a franchise as a whole? That review just sounds like a really long-winded way of being like, Wee. John F. gives it one and a half stars and says, Hey, it's Paul Rudd. For this one, they should have gone for full camp and made it goofy. And they almost pulled it off. Rudd and too many others play it straight, making it almost unbearable to watch. Uh, okay. And this will be the last one we cover here because it's making my brain hurt again. Matthewis B gives it a half star and says, Again, what to expect from the sixth Halloween movie? Something terribly bad and poorly done? Yes, that's what you get. And the movie still manages to be worse than that. It's another movie that leaves me speechless. The direction is bad, the characters are bad, the actors don't even know what they are doing, and the script is horrible. Bad in a way that I can't understand how it can be so bad and horrible. Thank you for your attention. You literally just repeated yourself over and over and over again. You using all caps, exclamation points, and again, repeating yourself does not lend you any credibility. But... I take it you didn't like the movie. So in reading these terrible reviews for this movie, a few things were not at all surprising. People had issues with the Cult of Thorn and really the plot as a whole. That is definitely something that you hear a lot. Even from people that enjoy the movie, they'll say, I didn't really like that plot though. I thought it was weird. I thought it was all over the place. I love the movie. And I can tell you that I don't prefer the producer's cut because I feel like it's just way too heavy handed with that material. And I don't care much for that plot myself. However, I am kind of disheartened to see people give it low ratings because of the plot when they mention so many other great things about the movie. If a movie has a lot of really great elements, but a story that you don't all care that much for or don't really understand, at the end of the day, it's probably a wash, right? You're going to say it's average, it's whatever, it's forgettable, it's meh. But like, I just feel like there's something behind some of these reviews. I definitely feel like it's more or less they didn't like the Jamie died whatever it might be, and that colored their opinion of the movie as soon as they started watching it. I don't feel like that's fair to do to this movie. I will say I am kind of surprised, though, to see so many people give Paul Rudd credit because I have seen big YouTube channels over the years and review websites crap on this movie and crap on Paul Rudd specifically, saying that he's terrible in the movie, he has no idea what he's doing. 
I just, I'm never going to agree with that take. You can hate this movie. That is totally fine. But what Paul Rudd was asked to do, he does it really, really well in this movie. He's supposed to be an awkward, shy, antisocial loner. Kind of a freak. Kind of a weirdo. You don't know if he might be the one that stabs you. He's obsessive. He plays that perfectly. There is nothing at all about Paul Rudd's performance that I find unbelievable for Tommy Doyle's arc, at least in this timeline. So, shout out to everybody giving credit to Tommy Doyle and specifically Paul Rudd's performance in the movie. But I want to hear down below what you guys think. What do you think of Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers? Which cut do you prefer? Join the discussion down below in the comment section. Make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. This is Nick. Thank you so much for stopping at the Lost River Driving, but I'm pulling out.